find that I still have trouble, especially when I'm working by myself on line memorization right. and different, whether there's different exercises or techniques that I can do, especially yeah. if it's for auditions that are overnight and it could be a few page scene yeah. and just getting prepared and off book and yeah, whether it's a quick manner or just yeah. a proper manner, I guess. Well, proper, I don't know. You know, <laughs> um, I don't know what proper is yeah. uh, and it's different for everyone. The first thing is read a lot. Mm -hmm. There's really nothing else you can do, right? There's no, there's no, I mean, I, I know there are some like memory courses and the thing, I don't, know, I don't know, maybe they work. You know, I have my skepticism about yeah. whether those are real things. Um, but I don't know that, like, but again, read. Mm -hmm. And if you read slowly, so one of the things when I was young, I used to read really fast. I had a very quick eye, I could read, read things really quickly. Guess what, I don't read so fast anymore. Yeah. I just don't, it takes me a long time to read. So I need to allow more time. Okay. Now, people say, yeah, but you don't have a lot of time. Not totally true, right? Relative to, to saying, oh, I'm on this feature film that shoots in August and it's February. You're right, that's a lot of time. Whereas shooting tomorrow feels like not a lot of time. Mm -hmm. But you're not preparing the, preparing the whole movie. You got three pages, right? Yeah. How many times do you need to read those three pages? And what I would suggest to you specifically, the, the first note is less conversation Mm -hmm. about the memorization yeah okay. it's just yeah. how long it takes yeah, you yeah. don't put a you don't put chili or, or like or ribs do you eat ribs on occasion on occasion yeah <laughs> I, I'm, I, I, like ribs. I like some pork ribs really really nice yeah. uh, they take a while to cook mm -hmm. I don't sit there and complain and I go ah oh, why are these things taking so long to cook no you know you want to do you want to do ribs well they take a certain period of time you want to do something fast you can take a thin little steak fry it up in two minutes Mm -hmm. Fry an egg really fast, mm -hmm. but you want tender ribs, it's going to take you several hours. Some people might say a whole day to cook. So we don't, we don't criticize the rib for taking a while to cook, <laughs> right? So you don't want to criticize yourself, which is some of what I can see. Mm -hmm. It's like there's something wrong with me or I have this problem as if everyone doesn't have a problem at some level yeah, doing yeah. it. Some people will remember the lines really easily. But the through line, the emotional content, they don't remember at all. They, mm -hmm. They're forgetting. I know people, we have this one actress, wonderful actress actually, but uh, Yale trained. And she was really, really good, but she was just slow. All right? mm -hmm. Meaning you'd ask her to do something. You'd say, okay, great. Uh, I, now I like this scene, good, but as you cross, I need the bottle over there. So just make sure you pick up the bottle as you walk. And she'd go, okay, great. She'd walk, oh, I forgot the bottle. <laughs> Come back. Oh, it's all right, take it again. Let's just do it again. Let's start from the top of the scene. There you go. Okay, get, oh, that bottle again. And you could do the scene 10 times. She'd forget the bottle. Yeah. She remembered the lines well. Her performance was full, but the behavioral thing of let me grab this on the way was very difficult for her. Yeah. Okay. She knows she's going to have to run that scene 15 times to get the behavior down right, where she might have to read less. Mm -hmm. You know? So you can, you can have some space for your own memorization to take whatever it takes. If it takes a hundred times reading it, do it. Guess yeah. what? You, yeah, you just set up. <laughs> then you're like, oh, I have until tomorrow. Like, if you got an audition right now, mm -hmm. it's 5:30 or so in the evening. You got it tomorrow morning at eight. There's enough time. Definitely. You could read a hundred. You could read that three page a hundred times mm -hmm. if you needed to. That's and you don't always need to. And a hundred times is a lot. Mm -hmm. But you could do it. So that's the first thing. It's just or the main thing. Put the time in. Do it, do it, do it, and less conversation over like, why do I have to do this? Why am I this way? You know, somebody else would already know this. I hate that it takes so long. Well, okay. you just wasted 30 seconds of time you could have been reading. Definitely. You yeah. know, um, buried in there, there's also a memorization question, not just recommendations for how to get better at it, but something to think about when you memorize is um, uh, the speaking in the head a lot especially early on, I think can be detrimental. Okay. You want to read and be open even as you read. Mm -hmm. You know, you want to read something and like let it affect you. And I think sometimes the, the, the vocalization in your head already starts to cement the thing in the way it must be said. Yeah, yeah. So even though you don't even understand the piece yet, you haven't really grappled with the situation, the nuance, the subtext of it, the behavior of it. You've already in your first read, you've put in, this is, this is how it goes. I'm going to read just like this, and now it's gonna take us a week to try to dislodge that idea that you put in in like 30 seconds, yeah. in the first 30 seconds, right? So you wanna be a little more intentional, and I don't mean this specific to you, although 
every actor, Definitely. I think, should be put in a little Definitely. more time to be more intentional <laughs> about staying open when you read and kind of like letting the words hit you more, mm-hmm. letting them in instead of in the very first reading. If you know you're going to read it a hundred times, you're in no rush. You don't have to get it on line one oh, and, and figure out how am I going to say it. No, you get to just let them hit and keep going through it and go through it, go through it, go through it. Eventually, the next line won't be a surprise. Yeah. <laughs> And the other, the last thing that can help as now as an aid. So the first thing is just perspective, right? It's mm-hmm. your relationship to your own, your own memorization. The second thing is kind of a process, a bigger picture process question about how I'm memorizing and what some of the traps are. The last thing I'd say is, um, right? I remember um, the other thing that can make it easier to actually memorize is the emotional content. Okay. Sometimes because we get so anal about not anal, You're, you, you should get the right words. I want you to get the right words. That's not being anal, mm. right? That's actually doing your job. It's get the words as they're written, right? Mm. But if I give you a string of numbers, should we do that little exercise? No, we won't do that <laughs> right now. If I gave you a string of numbers and then came back to you half an hour later with like two pages of numbers and had you repeat them, you wouldn't get anywhere. Mm-hmm. You get the first 10 and you forget it, right? They just don't mean anything. Yeah. So you have like, oh, 6, 12, 49, 18, 27, 2.5, 136. You probably have lost at the beginning already <laughs> by the time 136, right? True. The more the lines mean something and that you understand the movement of the scene, including sometimes even behavior of the scene, as you start to, as you start to consider your own movement as you've read it a bunch of times now, you'll find, oh, wow, the line just makes sense. Like, you know where you're going because the... The sensation in it makes sense to you. Mm-hmm. Yeah? Definitely. So, so that would be, you know, an area before you are just trying to get words, 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 where you should understand, like, what's the flow of this thing? What's, why, justify. Yeah. Justify everything. So why, why am I making that move? And we start understanding why you're making the move, speaking a different language, an emotional language, an intentional language, a behavioral language, a psychological, depending on your, your perspective, whatever, whichever one of those resonates for you, oh, the, the line comes out, because of course you'd say that. Mm-hmm. You know, and I think the better written the piece, the more often you'll find that happening too, right? It's yeah, right. memorizing, in a sense, um, the architecture, mm-hmm. um, so that the individual word just falls out naturally. Gotcha. Yeah. Makes sense. Cool. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you.